Hello Oracle Geeks, this is Justin and welcome to this YouTube tutorial where we're going to show you how to rename both a Oracle database table space as well as an Oracle database data file. So without further ado, let's go ahead and log into our finance Oracle database by setting our SID, ensuring our SID is set properly. And we will connect the database with our SQL Plus program. Okay. Now, let's look at what table spaces make up our Oracle database. And we do that by selecting following column table space name from the view DBA table spaces. So we're selecting table space name from DBA table spaces. And remember, we're selecting from views created from the data dictionary which is the metadata about the database. Okay, so select table space name from DBA table spaces. We have table spaces here. Now these are all the system type table spaces, why well, I should say the uh, Oracle required table spaces that you need in any Oracle database. But, um, so that being the case, we're gonna create a table space outside of this, outside of these table spaces, okay? So we do that with the create table space command. And I go into detail of the create table space command in another video. The but we'll just use it to create our table space here. So create table space and we'll call this payroll. So this will all of our payroll data of our uh, hypothetical bank here. All of our payroll data will go into this table space. So we go create table space payroll data file and we give it the full path in our operating system where it will go. Oops. And we'll name the file payroll01.dbf, extension short for database file. And we'll make it 10 meg. So we're saying create table space called payroll in the physical file located in C colon slash database or data finance payroll01.dbf and make it 10 meg in size. Okay, so it's format in the file. So it pre-allocates to 10 meg when you do this. So depending on how big you make your data file with the create database table space command, the create table space command could go away for a couple minutes, even a couple hours, depending on what you're doing. So now if we do a select table space name from DBA table spaces, we will see that we now have a payroll table space, which we didn't have up here, but now it's created, we now have it. And if we do a select off of another data dictionary view, select name from the dollar sign data file, we will see, actually this is a dynamic performance view, sorry. We will see that we have a file now called database or data finance payroll. And if we were to quit um, DIR that file from DOS, the operating system, we will see that file out there as well. And there it is, 10 meg. Okay, so you have uh, bytes, kilobytes, meg, 10 meg. All right, so. Now that we have our table space, we're going to show you how to rename it. And renaming a table space is, is, is pretty pretty simple. And you do it with the following um, you do it with the following command. You do uh, alter table space. There's a bunch of alter commands in uh, Oracle, and they basically alter the object, which is their argument to the alter command. Okay, so you're modifying the characteristic of an object. And the name of an object, of a database object, I would say is a characteristic of an object. So we type in alter table space payroll rename to uh, rename to pay me we'll call it table space alter so we did alter table space payroll which is the source name the current name rename to pay me okay which is our target name now if we do a select table space name from DBA table spaces again we will see that it's now pay me and if we do a select name from the dollar sign data file again, we will see that even though the table space name is pay me, payroll is still what the file name is. And if I do this query, which will probably make it even more clear, if I do select table space name, uh, comma, file name from DBA table spaces, uh, DBA, I'm sorry, DBA data file, sorry, um, trying to pull it out of my head here. Select table space name 
n file name from DBA table files data files where table space underscore name is equal to pay name. Okay, so basically we selected two columns from the DBA data files uh, data dictionary view. We said select a table space name and the file name column from DBA da data files where the table space name column is equal to pay me. And it showed pay me, but it says that the file is still named payroll 01.dba in this directory path. Now, this is completely acceptable. It's completely legal. There's nothing technically wrong with this, but you always want to be a, you always want to name your data files the same name as your table spaces, okay? Um, and if there's multiple data files to a table space, which is usually the case, you always, you, uh, you know, you just change the number, you increment by one every time you add a data file to the table space. So if I were to add space to this table space, it'd be payroll 02, payroll 03, and so on and so forth. Okay. Um, this may not make much of a difference that the data file name and table space name um, are match up to the, um, may not make much of a difference. Um, in a small database like this finance database we're playing with, but when you get in the databases that have hundreds, if not if that have hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of data files, then it can really, really be an issue. Okay, so um, just keep that in mind. You always want to try to make a match. So that being the case, uh, we're going to go ahead and we are going to rename this data file. And to rename the data file, the first thing you have to do is you have to bring the data file offline okay now I'll explain what I mean to rename this data file the following command does so okay it's another alter command just like with the table space alter database rename file and you give it the full path of the file this is what the file is currently named at database or data finance pay, payroll 01.dbf and we're going to do it to, and now our target name, what we want it to be called. C colon slash database or data finance pay me 01.dbf. So we're saying alter database rename file C colon slash database or data finance payroll 01.dbf to and then database or data finance pay me 01.dbf. Okay, we're going to get an error when we do that. It says error in renaming log or data file. Cannot rename file. File is in use or recovery. Okay, so you have to bring that data file offline in order to rename it. And you have two, you have actually three ways of doing it. You can either shut down the database and then bring the database back up in mount mode which no files or data files are really in use until they're opened in the open state mode of an open stage of a database so you're basically restarting Oracle database and stopping it in mount mode then you can issue this alter database rename file command okay or you can um, or what you can do is you can take the table space offline data file offline okay so what we're going to do first is we're going to show you the first method that I talked about, which is we're just going to shut down our Oracle database. And when we shut down our Oracle database, basically this file is not going to be in use anymore, okay, because the database has closed all the data files. It synchronized all the data files, made them consistent, and it shut down the instance. So nothing is using these data files anymore. Okay, now what we're going to do is we're going to restart our database, but we're going to stop and mount. Okay, so we start up our, remember there's three phases to Oracle Database Startup. There's Startup No Mount, which just starts up the instance and allocates the memory, the SGA. And then there's Mount Mode, there's a Mount Phase, which um, locates the control file per the SP file or P file um, and, and opens the control file. And then the third stage is the control file tells uh, the instance where the data files are. And in that phase, the data files are checked to make sure that they're consistent and open for user connectivity. Um, but we stopped it in mount mode, so it stopped. So we did startup mount, and the database stopped with the message start database mounted. And we do a select open underscore mode from the dollar sign database. Another view, we will see that the database is mounted. Well, this is actually a synonym, but we'll, that'll be another topic. 
So select open underscore mode from V dollar sign database oh, mounted. So we know we're in mounted mode. So now, hey, the file is not in use, Justin. You should be able to rename that file, right? Well, let's give it a shot. Can't. Now we get another or or error. The error is not that the file is in use. The, the error is that the file can't be found. Okay, it's assuming that that file exists, but it doesn't. Okay, so that being the case, because we want to rename it, pay, uh, we want to rename it, pay me zero one dot dbf, but that file doesn't exist. So what what do we have to do first? Um, you can type in host to get to the operating system. Well, we have to rename that file from the operating standpoint, a system standpoint. So we go to to our data for our data files are located c colon slash database or data finance and there's the payroll zero on the dbf so the first thing we do is we do an um, an operating system I think I'm in Unix here and move command and we basically say the file currently named payroll zero one at dbf renamed to pay me zero one dot dbf we do a dir there it is well I like mine to be all capitalized so they match each other so let me do it again. There it is, pay me zero one at DBF. We type in exit to get back to our SQL prompt because we temporarily got out of SQL plus by typing in a host command. Now when we do an alter database rename file, we should we should be good to go. There it is, database altered. Now I'm gonna go ahead and I'm going to manually tell the database to go to open. And I can skip I can skip stage mount. When I type in open, it's gonna see it's in the um I'm sorry, I was thinking about something else. Yeah, just do alter database open, and this will open our database. And this, you would have gotten the same results if you did a shutdown immediate in the mount stage, and then just did a startup, and a startup implicitly, automatically, goes through no mount, all three stages, no mount, mount, and open. Okay, so now the database is open, and we can tell that by doing our select command again. So now it's not mounted anymore, now it's in read-write, which means that the database is open. And now, when we do our select table space name and file name from DBA data files, where table space name equals pay me, we will see that not only is our table space renamed, but we but he's he's renamed as well. So there's so there's uh two so there's really two steps to renaming a data file. Okay, um, you have to you have to change the physical name of the file or object if you want to call it that, but it's a file. From an operating system level, with the move with the OS move command or MV command, if it was a Unix or Linux based system, and the second step is you have to notify the data dictionary, okay, of the change. So, for instance, if we reverse that order and I were to shut down the database, did an MV command in DOS, and then try to restart the database, the database wouldn't start up it because it needs to read all the data files that it knows about before it can open. Okay, he's going to say, "Hey, what happened to the file?" He's going to it because he Data dictionary still thinks that it should be payroll 01.dbf, and since we renamed it in DOS, but we forgot to notify the Oracle database data dictionary of this file of the fact that we renamed the file. Okay, he's going to fail to start up. Okay, so we have to tell the Oracle database dictionary about the change that we made at the OS level. Otherwise, he's just going to assume that there's been some sort of media failure, like a disk drive failure or something, and he can't find it anymore. So that's a way to rename the your data file and your table space and your data file. Now I'm going to show you another way to rename your data file. And uh, go to video number two for this.